Hmm. Hey guys, Kip T. Sword here with Chronicles of a Culture Changer. I'll tell you, I was in the middle of a workout, and uh, I, you know, I've covered this subject quite a bit before. Uh, you know, we do it in our live presentations, it's in our manual. Uh, you know, we've discussed it in the blog and stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of give you this whole understanding real quick of survival mentality. When do you give up? And uh, it's very simple. Let me let me take you back just a minute and go. Since uh, we created this in 1996, been teaching it since 1997. And one of the four things that I tell you that we have as far as in our program is with preparation of the mind, we got to prepare for the street, we got to prepare for the media, and we got to prepare for the courtroom. This, this uh, I quit, or the, actually the refusal to give up, is what we want to talk about with survival mentality. And so to prove that, that, that I practice what I preach, so not only did I have to understand this during you know, my law enforcement career, but I would like to give it to you from the, the, the perspective of DT Free MS LLC. If for the first 10 years I did this, people were laughing at the whole subject of violence in medicine, and in some, in some degree people still do, but it's ironic now that we've finally garnered enough attention that people start to listen to us, and we've now, for about the last seven years, been recognized as a subject matter expert. So let me ask you, even though we've been screaming this from the rooftops and uh, trying to sit there and to share all the reports of providers being beat up, and then we turn around and share all the reports of providers that have taken our stuff and say how much it makes a difference, and we still can't get uh, an overwhelming uh, a popularity as far as people sharing the message and people saying at work going, hey, it's not cool to be beat up. And no, 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 enough is enough is enough. So when should I turn around and give up on you? When should I quit? When should I say I've had enough? I, I, I should go pick up a regular job so I can at least pay my bills. So have I given up on you? No. So if I'm not giving up on you, you can't give up on you. You can't give up on your peers. And what I want you to think about is this. Uh, there was that movie about the rock climber that got uh, uh, trapped, and uh, he ends up cutting his arm off with a dull knife. Ladies and gentlemen, that's survival mentality. It doesn't have to always be about violence, although that's what we talk about in our program. It's, it's, I need you to understand that survival mentality is that you don't have to give up. No matter what, you don't have to give up. You don't quit. I'm not quitting on you. I'm not quitting. You can't quit. So if you're in that situation, whether it be a car crash, whether it be you were rock climbing and got trapped, if you realize that there, that there is an end result, which means you're going to die unless you do something, you do something. So survival mentality is part of the mental preparation of a violent encounter, meaning that if you are in a violent encounter, whether you're on duty or off duty, you don't quit. You don't ref you, you refuse to give up. That you absolutely, no matter what, you're going to make it. Because how many people have you already treated over your career with gunshot wounds that have been stabbed and have been beat about the head and shoulders with bricks or rocks or baseball bats or whatever, and they are still okay. They live. So that, guys, is survival mentality. There's a whole big section on it we, we cover in our, our blog on survival mentality, and I'll actually attach it to this so that you can read where the FBI has done some studies on why certain officers lived and certain officers died, and they, they overwhelmingly found that survival mentality was it. So overall, what I'm telling you is this. In my ramblings and the way that it goes is survival mentality. Mental preparation for the violent encounter is as important as any physical skill you'll ever possess. You imagine what would I do if? You can pick some of the stories from our uh, forums that are actual news reports. Pick those and go, what would I do if that were me? Watch a video, hear a story of somebody else being involved in an encounter and say, what would I do if that were me? Always end with you winning, but end with it being a winning with a reasonable response in case you were captured on camera. So with that, guys, don't quit. Don't give up. I'm not giving up on you. You don't give up on you. And with that, I'm out. See ya.